Alright, hello everybody, what's up? It's Mookanuka here from The Born Gamers, and we are doing a new segment called School Time Fillers. And what we're going to do is these are little web browser games you can play while you're sitting in that boring Microsoft Word, Microsoft Access, or that boring computer class. These are the games you can play when you're done with all your assignments, or if you're at work and you have nothing else better to do. These are some games you can play. The first game we're going to be playing is called The Last Stand. Now, what is this game? This game is a zombie survival game in which the player, you, are going to stop a bunch of zombies from just charging at you. So you're going to shoot them, kill them, and sur try to survive 20 nights. So after each night, though, you get 12 hours, and you can allocate these hours between three different tasks. Up, uh, repairing your barricade, uh, looking for survivors, and looking for weapons. So... That's pretty much what you're going to try to do, is you're going to try to get a lot of survivors and get good weapons and survive 20 nights. So, let's get this thing started, let's go play. Uh, WASD is to move, R is to reload, space is to switch weapons, escape is options, and then mouse is to aim and kill. So, day one, the last stand. I finished the wall today, it should hold them off for a while, I hope. Tomorrow, I better look for survivors and something better to protect myself with. I have to get through the night first, though. Alright, so here we go. Night one. Let's do this. This is a game I used to play when I was in school. And I realize your school might block these sites, but these are also just fun games you can play when you get home. If you don't really want to play like a... You know, you just want to basically mess around on your computer. This is a fun game you can play. So we actually did really good for night one. Only gonna have to spend two hours uh, on upgrades. The more survivors you have, the more percent you upgrade per hour. So that's why I like to spend a lot of time looking for survivors, because I don't want to spend that much hours repairing. I'd rather spend that time looking for an actual weapon. So we got two survivors, which is awesome sauce. And we're going into night two. I'm like a professional at this. I'm somewhat of a pro. And for those headshots. Everybody knows headshots kill zombies better. So as you can see here, we got this guy down here. He's covering this. He's covering that this lane right here, and the guy on the top is covering this lane. So you can get up to I think two on the two on the top, two on the bottom, and two on the back. So up to six survivors. As you can see here, now it's like 15% an hour. So we only have to do this twice, and then. Probably go look for some more survivors and increase my gun. So, the more I spend here, the faster this bar is going to fill up. And when this bar is full, I get a new weapon. Which is good. Which, apparently, I got a new weapon. So, we have four survivors, one new survivor found, and a .357 revolver. Which, this gun is really good to start with. The gun I really want, though, is the... Uh, is the sawed off shotgun because it you have to reload every two shots but it has a really uh, good spread on it I like to switch to this one because it's faster usually actually when I play this I don't have the revolver and this many survivors this early so this is pretty this is a good setup we got right here can spend two here, spend some time looking for a weapon, and spend some time looking for a survivor. We got a UMP-45. Nice. Switch that out. That's a good, like, uh, keep them at a distance weapon while we use the revolver when they get close. Okay. 
just gonna mow them down. We're on night four, so we got 16 more nights to go. And it takes about 30, it takes 30 minutes to ride all 20 nights, so if you have all your schoolwork done within the matter of 20 minutes, you can definitely, if you have like 50 minute class periods like I did, you can most definitely beat this, uh, beat this game. If not though, you can get pretty far and uh, pick up your progress when you get home or try again. It's just a quick game to play. So we can actually only have to allocate one hour there. And we're gonna go and search for more survivors. So we got one more survivor. We're almost at a full crew. We need just one more. So. Oh dang, started off quick. Oh no, we need two more. It's five, including me. Alright. Because you can have seven survivors total. Which, once you get seven, you're pretty OP. Because one of them has a sniper rifle, so he can take them out pretty far. Alright. Looks like we only have to spend about one hour here. Spend six hours here and five here. All right, another survivor. Here we go. We are turning up, people. See, he's right back here. Keep him at a distance. This guy here has a shotgun, which means we'll probably find the shotgun next night. absolutely crazy. Usually I don't do this good. But, looks like luck is in my favor. I think we're almost done. Yep. Survived the night. Only took two damage. Um, probably only need to do four here. We'll do seven here. Nice. We got a shotgun and our party is now full. So we can focus all the time on searching for weapons. Unless we lose a survivor, then we'll go back to looking for one. But we're on night seven and we're already at the status. We are definitely in good shape. Let's do this. So easy. Like a glove. <sighs> Delicious. Drink some Coca Cola. Get me hot. Spend eleven hours searching for weapons. I mean, like, why not? Got a chainsaw. But uh, I prefer a shotgun because chainsaw they have that means they, they have to be here. For a shotgun they don't have to be here, so that's why I prefer a shotgun. Especially when I get the sawed off shotgun. I think it's a monster. Cause it the the this shotgun here, if you can see the bullets are very uh, concentrated. It doesn't really have a wide range. Like it stays on, I think it spreads like across two planes, but the sawed off spreads like against. That one goes like four planes, and this takes forever to reload. Unless you interrupt the reload process.
probably going to lose the survivor. No, we are. Nice. I am liking this. This is so good. I just start shooting. I don't know what I'm shooting at, but I know something's coming. I'm just going to start shooting. Alright, they're getting pretty close. Sweet. So here we go. That's about. Oh, that's pretty good. We're probably gonna find a weapon here. We actually are gonna find a weapon here. Sawed off shotgun. Whew. Now we're in business. Now we are talking. So we are now nine ten. Halfway there. See what I mean? The spread is a lot bigger. Plus, you only have to reload two bullets, so it's not like you have a lot. Look at this. Somebody come look at this. Alright, there we go. I don't think we've dropped below 50, which is really good, actually. I usually always drop below 50, so I'm very excited. So uh, anyway, that's our day 10 summary. We got a barricade 100%, survivors at 6, we just lost a sur someone from our search party, and our weapons found. We found a hunting rifle, I don't really use it because it's a single shot and I don't really like that. But anyway, that's going to conclude uh, part 1 of our The Last Stand let's play we have 10 more nights to survive so if you like this video and you want to join me on my journey to surviving 20 days make sure to like this video share it with your friends comment in the comment section below if you like this video check out the description also for the link to where i play this game and of course as always don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great gaming content tv show content movies and just a bunch of nerdy shit really so just Stay tuned and stay locked. This is Hamuka Nuka from Boring Gamers signing out. Peace. The smallest house ever. I know the problem. See how he has like, he has this whole area covered. Like there's nobody getting out.